In this video, I will be demonstrating the limit width modulo object available in machine builder libraries. This object evaluates a test value to determine if it is in tolerance range of a reference. This object supports linear and circular evaluation and also inside and outside check limits. I have a demo application to explain about the add-on instruction. The input reference is the reference target against which the tolerance range is calculated. Input test is the input to be tested. The config type is set as 0 for checking if test input is inside the tolerance range and as 1 for outside the tolerance range. If the config modulo parameter is set as 0, then it is unused. If it is set as greater than 0, then the reference is considered unwinding at this value. Config tolerance is the value added and subtracted to the input reference to verify if the test input is inside or outside limit. Status IP indicates if the instruction is in process. Status limit indicates if test input variable is with limits according to config type selection. To explain the function, I have created different scenarios. First, I have set the config type as 0, which means to check if test input is within the tolerance limit. Config modulo as 0, which means reference is linear. The reference is set as 50 and tolerance as 10. This means the tolerance limit is calculated as 50 plus 10 and 50 minus 10. Input test is set as 55, which is within the limit of 40 to 60. So status limit is set as 1. Next I will change the input test as 35. Since this is outside the tolerance limit of 40 to 60, the status limit is off. Next I will change the config type as 1 which means to check if input test is outside the limit. Since 35 is outside the limit of 40 to 60, the status limit output is on. I will set the input test as 50. Since 50 is within the limit of 40 to 60, the status limit is off. To understand about rotary limits, I have set the config modulo as 360, indicating that the reference will unwind at 360. I have set the config type as 0 to check if input test is inside the limits. The reference is set as 100 and test input as 104. Since the input test is within the limits of 90 to 110, the status limit is on. To understand how the limit is calculated around the modulo, I will set the reference as 2. This means the limit is now calculated as 352 to 12. Since the test input is at 104, which is outside this limit, the status limit is off. I will change the input test as 355. As this is within the limit of 352 to 12, the status limit is on. For outside limit check, I will change the config type as 1. Since 355 is inside the limit of 352 to 12, the status limit is off. In this section, I will demonstrate how to instantiate limit with modulo object in application code manager. The ACM already has machine library registered. 
you need to download the libraries from Rockwell Automation Product Compatibility and Download Center page. I have already created a project, added a controller. I have also added a program in which we will add the limit with modulo implement object. To add, right click on the program and click add new. In the filter, enter modulo. Select the limit with modulo implement object and click next. I'll name the instance as table position limit. The routine name and tag name are derived from the object name. You can leave as it is or modify as per requirement. The reference name and test name are also derived from the object name. You can modify or leave as it is. Click next. Click auto create to create the link libraries. Click finish to complete the instantiation. Now we have added limit with modulo object. To understand further about generating the code, watch the basics of ACM workflow video series. For more information, download machine builder libraries from Rockwell Automation website. Thanks for watching the video.